Welcome to a new little thing that I'm trying and uh, I thought I'd throw out there where I actually take a clip from a voyage and then we sort of dissect a little bit of what's going on. And this first one I figured we'd start with a little heavy weather and what it's like sort of running in a southern ocean low pressure system and what you do with the sails and, and just kind of what it was like. So I'm going to cut to the clip here without, uh, without further ado and we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy it. Thanks for watching. All right, and here we are. So, this is on Mighty Sparrow somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, and I'm headed to the east, and the sun is setting in the west. And wow, okay, so we've definitely got some wave action. It's definitely uh, heavy weather, sort of gale force sort of conditions, and that's what we're going to talk about. Now, Sparrow is being sailed by Mongo, which is the Aries wind vane, and it's doing basically everything, so I'm not getting overpowered or anything. I've got just the triple reefed mainsail up, the really sloppy, sloppy uh, reef sitting underneath that boom, but I think we'll get into that in just a second. But as far as the conditions go, I'm riding two different wave trains. I've got the southwest swell that I'm actually going straight down, and then coming up from the north is the old swell from the beginning of this low pressure system. And you're going to see the boat sort of get rocked and rolled here. This one, check out underneath the sail as this triangle wave sort of peaks up. And those are kind of the dangerous ones. You know, you, you get a very steady, consistent sea action, but then every once in a while you get an oddball like that. And those, those are what you have to watch out for. And that's probably why all of that sail material is sort of baggy and all that loose, because this would have been the tail end of a gale. And so I've been in it for a long time and the conditions are so sloppy at this point that I didn't want to risk going forward and trying to tidy it up unless I absolutely had to. And that's one of the keys, I think, to when you're in these situations because you're a little tired, um, things are wet, you might be cold. You don't want to make snap decisions and actually go and just be like, oh, I'm going to go fix that real quick. If you don't need to do it, you stay in the cockpit. That's really a, a key. Up forward, I've got the storm jib hanked on and ready to go. And the reasoning behind that is if essentially the winds pick up and get up into the 50 knot range, then I'm going to start surfing a little too out of control. The center of effort and everything by just using the mainsail is definitely going to make me want to like round up a little bit and lose, lose my downwind, my dead downwind track. And so essentially what I do in that point is I would go up and I'd lower the mainsail and then I'd quickly throw the storm jib up, sheet it right down into the middle so it's not actually catching wind, it's just trying to keep the boat pointed straight downwind. And typically I can handle winds up to the 60 knot range when I'm in that sail configuration. And that, that does pretty well because it keeps the speed going, but more importantly, it keeps the boat pointed with the waves so that it allows you know the boat to just be if i am going to get hit by a wave it, it's it's hitting me right over the stern instead of on the side because the biggest fear in these sort of conditions is getting stuck side to or beam to the seas because that's where you're most vulnerable but essentially with the low pressure systems down in the southern ocean they're cyclonic and they're they're basically as it approaches you the winds are coming from the north and then as the midsection comes, you're going to typically get hit by westerly, and then you're going to get the southwest where it blows really hard. But you always have sort of these leftover waves and such. But I found that on the west sail with the long keel and everything like that, I'm essentially trying to keep my normal speed up around the four to five knot range and then surf the waves at up to about 15, 16 knots. And then you slow right back down. But it gives you having sail up there in these conditions is really important if you don't have enough sail area up there you get a big breaker that comes over the stern that will smash down into your cockpit and it's definitely no fun to have water squirt through the washboards into the cabin i'm looking a little happy but also a little amazed by it and i do know that night is coming and it's uh, probably going to be another long night but i think Honestly, my biggest fear is that this system is going to blow itself out and then I'm going to be becalmed and slopping around in these huge waves 
after uh, it gets dark and not be able to sleep. But essentially, those are sort of the things that I think about and um, the what I kind of do as far as the sale plan goes. Now, big emergency. I do have a big line and an anchor that I can just tow off the back to slow me down if I really need to. Luckily, I've never had to use that and I uh, hope I never do. But you always want to have a few different uh, things in your arsenal to throw at any storm.